Well, this is uh, part three. I don't know how many parts there'll be to this thing, uh, recrystallization. And probably to, uh, well, you've got to be honest. You know, you got to you got to tell the truth uh, as as best you can. Uh, it may not be the truth, it, you know, but I mean, the facts of my personal history and my background are accurate to, to the best of my knowledge. Um, science and uh, science is a religion in and of itself. I mean, y you have to have a like Thomas Edison. You know, uh, he wrote when his journal, "I have not failed. I have not failed. I have discovered eleven thousand um, materials that will not work." When he was inventing the light bulb. Um, hmm. Hmm. Gives you a little courage to go on when you realize in science that it takes a, it takes a lot of courage. The uh, in what I found out is I, uh, I right now I'm in the process of uh, finally uh, Searching for a microscope and finally going to purchase a microscope and start repeating the experiment as best I can. Um, because the frustration here is that um, the, these crystals would have. Now, the amoeba, were, first of all, is uh, full of little crystals. Uh, th this is common, everybody knows it. Uh, I mean, it looks into the amoeba. Uh, there, there are these crystals in the amoeba itself. Now, they aren't shaped like little crosses. Um, and I should include the information that I turned the power up full, you know, full blast, whatever it was, you know, 1,000x or whatever it was, um, on the microscope that day, that winter day in 1972. But as much, these are much smaller than an amoeba. Um, Forgot to check the time, so I'll have to I'll have to cut this one short. Probably end up four or five or whatever. I'm gonna get tired pretty soon. Nicotine keeps you awake, or does me? Um, stimulates the brain, they say. Um. Anyways. Um. In investigating and trying to find out uh, you know through the internet I went around the world uh, emailing uh, you know scientists real scientists you know I'm a farmer in the hills of North Missouri I ain't no scientist <laughs> any casual observer <laughs> would be able to discern um, I'm a scientist only in the sense that I want to know I, I like to find out stuff. Um, I'm not interested in the local gossip, gossip or what the president did today. Um, but I am interested in uh, electrons and uh, chemistry. I'm interested in that stuff, uh, especially relative to these uh, this recrystallization of these little crosses. Um, and what I found in talking or, you know, communicating with uh, several people uh, that were kind enough to respond to my emails, that no one, uh, chemistry, chemistry professors that I've visited with, is familiar with these uh, particular structures. And what they've all told me is, repeat the experiment. And my argument has been, and my thought has been, for these many years since, you know, 1990 or whatever, a lot of other water under the bridge since then, uh, uh, details that, that not irrelevant, uh, not relevant to this particular subject. Um, someday maybe I'll get this pipe lit, uh, but uh, anyways, um, this every day, 
in colleges and high schools, some better, some of the better high schools. Certainly in in the college classrooms, every day, maybe not every day, but nearly every day, thousands of, if not hundreds of thousands of uh, students prepare slide, slides of live amoeba as they did, you know, the last 20 years since 1972, they've been doing that. And looking at live amoebas, and uh, um, a doctor of Chinese medicine uh, who has since retired uh, from his practice that I used to uh, be a patient of his. Uh, <clears throat> um, he uh, was a graduate of uh, MIT. In brain science and uh, research biology, a very uh, brilliant, brilliant man. And he told me that when he looked at amoeba, he didn't turn the power up. He didn't look to see if anything was in there. And so maybe most people, you know, they're just, uh, they're young people. Maybe they just, you know, maybe they find the amoeba, I, I don't know, you know, maybe, they, maybe they're like me. Maybe they got their minds on, you know, uh, meeting up with their girlfriend after class. Who knows why that nobody's seen these except, except myself, apparently. And the 20 or so other students in the lab and, and the lab instructor, as I said, the other students that looked at the, at the structure, these these uh, crystal crystalline structures, and um, uh, it would really help. You know, I would be if anybody knows anybody who has uh, you know viewed these structures, I would I would love to visit with them. Um, but. Um, and so repeating the experiment seems like a, an, an exercise in futility because the experiment is literally has been repeated more times than I could ever repeat it if I, you know, if I lived a uh, hundred more years. Uh, and so it seems like how futile can, you know, just an exercise in futility. But nevertheless, you know, I'm retired. I've, I've got to have something to do, something to occupy my, my time as a, uh, Frederick Price, on uh, <laughs> the preacher on TV, I kind of like to listen to him, um, said, um, you know, when you're doing nothing, you're, you're still doing something. And so you might as well be doing something rather than doing nothing. And so uh, I'm intending on buying a microscope uh, within the near future um, and repeating the experiment. You know, you can find amoeba in the pond water. I mean, they're not... They're not, they're not hard to find. They're around, they're not visible, to most of them to the naked eye, but uh, anyways, um, um, I, I guess that is the, the end of the story. If I uh, have any more information, or if anybody else has any more information, I'd appreciate it. Uh, and so, um, it's cold in Missouri and other snowstorms on the way. Uh, go ahead, hallelujah. <laughs> if you like snow, um, um, I hope people are safe on the highways. And uh, I'm, I'm going to have to bid you all a, a farewell and uh, happy trails. <laughs>